Windows registry is where all the Windows system and software configurations are stored. That's why so many Windows tutorials you find require that you add, modify or delete Windows registry keys. But sometimes when you intend to modify or delete a registry key, Windows might block you. This is because your user account or even the administrator account doesn't have full ownership or permissions for that particular key. In order to edit any protected or system critical keys, you need to take full ownership of that key. In this video, we show you how to do it. Taking full ownership of Windows registry keys is easy, but before doing anything, always make sure that you have a good backup before messing with Windows registry. To start, press Win plus R, and then type regedit and press the enter button to open the Windows registry. Once the Windows registry is opened, navigate to the key you want to take ownership of. In this case, we'll be looking to disable a key that makes the command prompt appear in your right click context menu. Disable the key and you get the command prompt when you right click. Pretty neat. After getting to the intended registry key, right click on it and select the option permissions. While taking the ownership, you cannot directly take ownership of the values on the right pane. Instead, you need to take ownership or permissions for the entire key. So you open the permissions window. Here, click on advanced to change the special permissions. In the next pane, click change next to the owner at the top and then type administrators into the object name box and click OK. Back in the permissions window, double click the administrators and then check the full control box and click OK. That's all there is to it. From now on, you can modify or delete the target Windows registry key at will. If you think that the manual procedure is quite a hassle, and which, you know, some people may, then you can use the freeware RegOwnIt software by the Windows Club. Simply download the application and run it. Being a portable app, there's no need for you to actually install it. Once the app is open, enter the registry key location in the registry address field. Now select the user account and permissions and click on the apply buttons to take full ownership of the target registry key. So there it is. It's that simple to take full ownership of a Windows registry key, either using the manual method or the free app RegOwnIt. Now you have full control over your registry. Why not head over to our list of the best Windows registry hacks to really start digging into it. Also, check out the Windows 10 app docs if you want to give your desktop a touch of that Mac OS class. Links in the description. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. I'll